Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here with a little scripture. I've been halfway quoting and paraphrasing some of these scriptures, but I want to read this one because this one is a what I would call a biblical cliche. But it comes in the form of several verses. I want you to hear God's attitude towards what he hates. Listen to this. This is Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16 through 19. These six things doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that, dis that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift into running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. <laughs> yeah, how many of y'all know folks like that? That's something to think about. That is something to think about. I don't want to have characteristics that the Lord hates. I don't want to have it. I try everything I can to kill that old man, to kill those ways. I try not to give them any credence. I try not to entertain that part, those flaws in my character. Because I don't want to feed a sleeping giant that can so easily turn into a deadly monster and some of you have deadly monsters in you they're alive and kicking they're thriving baby and they are wreaking havoc through your mouth through your attitude through your anger they are wreaking havoc even through some of the plain decisions you make yeah well anyway when you deal with an uh, a proud look God hates arrogance. And I've seen some arrogant people in my day. And you have too. A lying tongue that speaks for itself. Hands that shed innocent blood. Yeah. How many folks are in the, in the powers that be in all these countries that have founded their riches over dead bodies? Yeah. Remember how they used to say that AIDS started in Africa? I wonder who's going to pay the price for that. Because everything in my soul says that just like they in, infested the men in the Tuskegee experiment, yeah, I believe they infested Africa with AIDS just to watch how they die. Research, science, yeah. Listen, proud look, a lion tongue, hands that shed innocent blood. A heart that deviseth wicked imaginations. All those people that got rich off of the drugs being infiltrated and, and, and uh, smuggled into the black neighborhoods and the poor neighborhoods. I'm not going to go any further than that. And you have people who sell children as sex slaves. Wicked imaginations. Feet that be swift in running to mischief. How many of y'all are always trying to get in some mess, some nonsense? You know you need to leave that alone. You've been married 20 years and you can't cut that loose. Y'all been screwing around for, for 10 years of the 20. And neither one of y'all are getting anywhere with it, but you just can't cut all that good loving loose. <sighs> Run into mischief. A false witness that speaks lies. And he that soweth discord among You know, the false witness that speaks lies. Uh-huh. Ah! I was at the restaurant and guess what I saw mm -hmm. 
There was a man over there that looked just like your husband. And he was not alone, sweet pea. She was fine. Now, I don't know what's going on with y'all, but look like something ain't right in Denmark over there. You need to check that out. You need to put a bug in his pocket. You need to listen in on his conversations. I wouldn't let him go anywhere alone if I were you. I think he's cheating on you. Okay, now, that could have been him eating lunch with his sister. That could have been somebody that just looked like your husband. And they're just so quick to start stuff. That they rather stir up suspicion on a perhaps rather than keep their mouth shut on a fact. I mean, anything to stir up stuff, anything to see, ooh, they're getting ready to get in a fight. Ooh, I think they're going to get a divorce. Ooh, 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 they got busted. He found her with, with his best friend. and I mean, they just love feeding off of that stuff. They're like parasites. They will suck the life out of you. They will feed off of your blood source. Everything they can destroy in your life, they will, just so they can be entertained. And they're sucking the life out of you. And you're letting them. And this is the worst. He that soweth discord among brethren. Let me tell you what she said about you. She said you weren't even a man. She said in front of the whole table. It had to be about 20, 30 people. I mean, she's putting your business all out in the streets. You need to you need to, to check her. You need to put her in check. You need to give her a piece of your mind. If I were you, I'd fire her. I would fire her on the spot. Because I'm telling you, she is backstabbing you. I know it. I could see it. I could see it in her eye. She looks at you. You should see how she looks at you. She looks at you like you ain't nothing. And you sitting up here trying to be nice to her. I don't know what's wrong with you. What's wrong with you? You don't see how they look at you? And you just take it? And I heard what so-and-so said about you too. She said that brother man said that sister girl said and they said and I boy I mean it's all over the town. You never heard it? Yeah, well uh, yeah. He that soweth discord. God hates that. And I don't know why you even pay attention. If God wants you to know about it, God will tell you. I've had him tell me. I didn't need anybody running and putting a whizzy in, in my ear. God can speak in my ear. And when God speaks, it is the truth. Okay, I'm done with that because I can go off on a tangent, boy. But yeah, there's some people out there that'll, that'll wreck your lives. That'll explode it just like throwing a grenade right in the middle of your life and all your relationships. They are sent by Satan to destroy. And you have invited them in to do just that. Be very careful.